In this video I'm going to be showing you how to mount your Hackintosh FE partition in Windows so that you can edit your config.plist or add or remove texts. Maybe you need to make some changes but you're not able to boot into macOS although you can still boot into Windows. This is disk management showing the disks installed in my Hackintosh. I've got two macOS drives, one with Ventura and the other with Sonoma. These are disk 0 and disk 2 and disk 1 is my Windows drive. I want to mount the FE partition of disk 0. First open a command prompt by typing CMD into the Windows search box and clicking run as administrator. Now type disk part, that's D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, all one word, and press enter. You'll see the prompt changes to disk part. Now type list disk to get a list of the disks installed in your PC. Now type select disk followed by the number of the disk that you want to mount. In my case that's zero, so I type select disk zero. Next, type list partition to show a list of the partitions on the selected drive. We can see that the drive contains two partitions. The system partition or FE partition which is 200 megabytes in size and a larger unknown partition which is the macOS partition. Since I want to mount the FE partition, I'm going to type select partition 1. Now to mount the partition and assign it a drive letter, you can type assign letter equals and then the drive letter that you want to assign. I'm just going to use G. You should see a message saying disk part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point. Now if we look in Windows Explorer under devices and drives, the G drive appears alongside the C drive. But there is a problem. If we try to open the drive we get a message from Windows saying that we don't have permission. To get around this we're going to have to use an explorer alternative called explorer++. Go to the explorer++ github page which I'll link down in the video description and scroll down until you see latest builds. Click the link for explorerpp underscore x64 to save it to your downloads folder. Open your downloads folder, right click on the zip file and select extract all then click extract. Now run Explorer PP by right clicking on the icon and selecting run as administrator. Once Explorer++ runs you'll see all of your drives listed including the FE partition and you can browse around it just as you would any other drive. So you can add or remove texts and you can open the config.plist in notepad if you just need to make a quick edit or if you prefer something with a graphical interface you can download the Windows version of Open Core Auxiliary Tools from GitHub. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.